We are doing 2014 AMAX paper 2, question 7. In this question, we are given the equation of a curve, and we are told that the point PQ is the stationary point on the curve, and we are asked to find PQ. Stationary point means it can be a maximum or a minimum value. And we know that for stationary point, the dy dx, the gradient, will be 0. So what we are going to do is we are going to differentiate this expression and set it to 0. So let's find dy dx. Differentiate constant is a 0. Um, bring down the power. Power minus away 1. Then you differentiate whatever inside the bracket. Differentiate 3 is a 0. Differentiate minus x respect to x will give you a negative 1. Okay, Don't forget about this negative 1. So negative times negative will be positive. Okay, so then for stationary point, the dy dx will be equal to 0. So we set this expression to be 0. And we can get x equal to 3. When x equal to 3, y will be equal to substitute into this uh, expression. 3 minus 3 power 4. So stationary point x equal to 3, y equal to 2. Okay. Therefore, p equal to 3 and q equal to 2. In part 2 of the question, we are asked to determine whether the y is increasing or decreasing for x less than p, p take the value of 3, and for x greater than 3. Now to do this, we have to understand how to determine a function is increasing or decreasing. If we have a function of this graph, when the value of x increase, the y value will increase at the same time. Again, when x increases, the y value will increase at the same time. We call this function an increasing function. For increasing function, we'll notice that the gradient will be always positive. That is to say, the dy dx is always greater than 0. For decreasing function, the graph will look like this. That is, when x increases, when x increases, the y will decrease. And we can see from the graph that a decreasing function will always have a negative gradient. And since gradient is related to dy dx, what we can say is the dy dx is always less than 0. So if we want to test whether a function is increasing or decreasing, we just need to find the dy dx. If greater than 0, we know it's an increasing function. If the dy dx is less than 0, we know this is a decreasing function. Let's go back to our question. To test whether it's increasing or decreasing, I've set up a table, the x value and the dy dx value, the gradient value. So we are supposed to test for x less than 3, y is increasing or decreasing. So 3 is here. So if I have a value of x less than 3, I'm going to find the dy dx. So less than 3. Uh, try to use something uh, near to this value 3. So I think 2.9 will be good. So I'm going to substitute 2.9 into this dy dx and check whether it's a positive or negative gradient. So x equal to 2.9. If I substitute into the dy dx, it will give me a 4 times 10 power of negative 3. Now the value is not really important. The important is the sign, whether it's a positive or negative sign. So when x is 2.9, the dy dx is a positive value. So we know that this is a positive dy dx for x less than 3. And we can conclude that uh, for x less than 3, since dy dx is uh, positive, this function is an increasing function. For increasing function, the graph will look this way. Now we are going to test whether when x is greater than 3, the y will be an increasing or decreasing function. So x greater than 3. So uh, use a value slightly uh, greater than this value 3. So uh, 3.1 will be good. If we substitute 3.1 into this expression, we will get a negative value here. The dy dx is negative. So for negative gradient, the graph will look this way. 
By the way, when x is 3, the dy dx must be 0. Why? Because this is a stationary point. For stationary point, the gradient will be this. Let's conclude our answer for question 2. For x less than p, p take the value of 3, y is an increasing function because uh, dy dx is positive for x less than 3. This is a conclusion for part 2b. For x greater than p, p take the value of 3, y is a decreasing function. For part 3, the question asks, what does this result imply about the stationary point? So we know that when uh, x is less than 3, this is an increasing function. At x equal to 3 is a stationary point. Where x is greater than 3, this is a decreasing function. Based on this shape of the graph, we know that this stationary point is a maximum value. And we conclude our result here. For part 4, we are asked to find the value of d2y dx square at the stationary point. So to find d2y dx square, we have to differentiate the dy dx expression. So this is a dy dx expression we found earlier. To differentiate this, we use the chain rule. Bring down the power. Power minus away 1 and differentiate whatever inside the bracket will give us a negative 1. So stationary point x equal to 3. The d2y dx square, you substitute 3 into here, it will give you a value of 0.